Y'all, I'm just gagging. Like, come on. This, this, this uh, clip in set is bomb, you guys. Like, stop playing with me. Stop playing with me. I feel like, you know, when girls get their nails done for the first time, they get acrylic set for the first time, and they're all like, oh, not that this is my first time, but I haven't put in these extensions in a long time, and I have cut my hair, so I've had short hair for a while, and I forget what it feels like to have long hair, y'all, so I'm like living in this moment, living in this moment. Curls, it's Lauren here with another episode of the Simply Curly channel. And if you can't tell, I'm excited because my hair is finally long enough to have a successful clip-in protective hairstyle. I'm going to show you how I achieved this hairstyle really briefly. But before I get into that, don't forget to subscribe to the Simply Curly channel just for all of my future upcoming videos. I post videos every Thursday and Sunday every week. Um, so definitely subscribe so you can be in tune with the Curly gang. And don't forget to hit the bell notifications below because you want to be the first person to know when I post a video. Subscribing isn't enough. If you're subscribed, you will see my videos on your feed, but you won't be notified. Hitting that bell down below ensures that you get that notification along with being subscribed. So don't forget to do that. Like this video if you found it helpful. And let's get into it, curls. Hey, curls again. It's me, Lauren, here. Super excited, as you can see, to put these extensions in. I'm using Better Length Hair. I will put the link in the description box below. This hair is bomb, human hair, and everything. So... I have sectioned my hair um, the way I want to put the extensions in. This is very important. I do all that prep work before. I've had experience with installing clip-ins for years. Honestly, since college, I've been doing clip-ins in some sort of fashion periodically. So I have this down to a science, but if you are new to this, you will probably have a lot of trial and error here, figuring out what clip-ins work the best, how to overlay them with your natural hair, what is the best for that. I'd say just being open to experimentation. Um, don't do this if you've never done this before, the night before you're wanting to look fresh because it might look a mess, you know, do it two nights before. Now as for me, I know that in the very nape of my neck I like to use the three clip clip-ins in, in that part. As I get towards the crown of my head, I use the bigger ones, the one, the clip-ins with the four clips to have more coverage and fullness. And then in the frontal and sides of my um, head, I utilize the two clips to one clip clip-ins. So that's how I sort of play with it. I did have a new experience here just playing with my short hair and how to make sure a lot of that leave out was covered. Now you guys can braid your hair and clip in. I just don't do that because I like to twist my clip in hair and my real hair together as if it's all my hair because I feel as though I get the best results that way. Also as I get towards the top with clipping my hair in, I am starting to notice that I am having some leave out that I will have to deal with later. Hey, but that's okay. You can fix and make magic with bobby pins. So I know that once I twist my hair and then twist it out the next day, I will be able to utilize bobby pins to tuck in any short, short pieces of hair that might be sticking out to just make the illusion that everything is blending together. Of course, I won't have to do that as much when my hair does get longer, but for now, I'm definitely knowing that I will have to utilize bobby pins after I twist out my hair in the morning. Bye. 
better length hair was launched in 2014. It provides a range of textured clip-in extensions for black women. Their goal is to make sure that there is something for everyone. They offer eight textures and all of their clip-ins are made of high quality 100% human hair. Now don't get it twisted curls, this is not an ad. I definitely bought these clip-ins in June of this year, so that was well before I started this channel in September of this year. I just really wanted to pass along the knowledge and what my gems are that I found to you guys. So I wanted to make sure I gave you some info from their website. So I've definitely, well obviously, fast forwarded here. You guys get the picture. I'm twisting the hair now. I actually am flat twisting. I don't believe I have a flat twisting video, but I do have a twist in how to twist the TWA video. Um, but I am flat twisting this just to get some more definition from the root to the tip of my hair instead of just lower as if I were to just do a regular twist. Definitely flat twisting this I would suggest highly because you definitely will be getting more curl definition where your twist out will last a little bit longer and keep that curl that you're seeking. So in regards to the hair care products that I'm using to style my hair here, I am utilizing pattern leave-in conditioner first and then I am adding a little bit of the melanin elongating twisting cream and then I am putting my Eco Styler Argan Oil Gel on top of everything. I'm being a little bit more heavy handed with the gel on the fake hair portions because I was just a little worried about it maintaining the definition and I'm glad with the amount that I did end up putting on my hair. So now that I got my hair all wrapped up, I'm taking my Neutrogena sheet mask. It felt amazing. It was a hyaluronic acid mask. I'm just rubbing in that serum, getting ready for bed. I am also utilizing some glow oil on my face for some added moisture. And then I'm done. See you in the morning. So excited. Hey, hey, hey. Oh. I be feeling myself when my hair is long, you guys. Like, I just need to stop. <laughs> I'm living my best dream because I know it looks it looks good. It looks great. Yeah, and just Ooh, thank the Lord I found this brand. Hey, curls. So, if you've gotten this far, you have just watched me install. Ooh, excuse me. If you've gotten this far, you've just watched me install my clip ends, y'all, and it turned out really beautifully. Beautifully. I can't tell. Don't mind this chair and don't come for me with this chair. I know I need to get a different chair up in here. It's squeaking, whatever. But I wanted to show you guys how it looks. So, how did I do, curls? Did I do good? Oh my gosh. If you like this hairstyle, let me know down below. I'm living my Beyonce dreams. So, to go over the products that I used really quickly, because I know you guys just watched that part, but um, I definitely wanted to treat my hair or the extensions the same as my hair so i used a leave-in a cream and technically not a sealant but a gel anyways um i did also like how poofy my hair was before i added products so even when this curl out sort of gets old curl out even when this twist out gets old when it starts to get poofy it's gonna look amazing 
I'm excited for that. The reason why I put in clip-ins is A, man, you put in effort to put them in once and you really don't have to redo your whole head every single day. It's easier to, to just twist up at night, longer hair for me at least, um, and just have a protective hairstyle. Um, throughout the week, not having to manipulate your whole head is just very nice. And so I don't really wear clip-ins because I feel like I don't like my short hair. Sometimes I wanna change, you know, change it up for the girls. <laughs> I just wanna change it up. And um, I love that I can have this kind of versatile look. Um, and yeah. Also, this idea for clip-ins actually came to me randomly. This was not my planned video for this week, you guys. Ah, that's crazy, but you know, sometimes you gotta change it up. The other day, I was like, it was just random. I was thinking, girl, you haven't used your clip-ins in a long time. Maybe you should try it out. I mean, because I had picture day at work, so I'm, I was thinking, Oh, I'm trying to look a little cute. Let's just try it because the worst that could happen was maybe the leave out wouldn't blend so well. And if it was awful, I was just going to take it out and, you know, put on a cute uh, headband scarf or something to cover up my real hair or something like that. So I just wanted to try it out. And then I was, I literally wasn't going to film it, which is crazy. And I was like, this is such a good idea for a video. I'm sure people want to know um, how I do this or where I get the hair from. This installation was super easy, y'all. Super easy. Um, don't let it intimidate you. It's, e it's easy to fix, easy to make mistakes. You can make mistakes, but it's easy to fix, basically. So don't be afraid to part your hair, clip it, and then you know, oh, that's not the right spot. Let me change it up. Like, it's just super easy. I've never gotten sew-in before, um, but I will never. Nothing against sew-ins. <laughs> Sorry, guys. Yikes. Um, there's something wrong with sew-ins, okay? Um, hopefully, you just take care of your hair if you have a sew-in. But for me, I just can't take stuff in my hair for a long period of time. I will cut that joint out. And y'all know sew-ins... They cost a lot of money, okay? And so I get, I feel like I just get more use out of this and more of my money's worth. Um, because if I got a sewn, I like for real, I would cut my hair, I would cut it out. No lie, you guys, one time I got these cornrow braids, like the two, just two braids down. Let me adjust myself because I was getting uncomfortable, man. <laughs> Um, I got these two cornrow braids and I don't know. I think that maybe, oh, I shouldn't get too much detail, but no, I'm just going to say it. So I think I just had too much product in my hair. Um, just don't know if the lady follows me. So, <laughs> ah. And I, oh. But I just think I had too much product in my hair for me. I think that the way she did my hair is what typically works for most people that get those hairstyles. But for me, um, I feel like I should, I maybe my scalp wasn't as clean, um, but my hair doesn't absorb product quickly uh, at all. So, there was just like a lot of product and obviously if I had two braids, my scalp was showing, okay? So that means product product was going directly on my scalp. Um, and then after the braids were done, she put like a foam kind of mousse thingy on there. And that's fine. And I didn't really, I don't get braids, you guys. I don't get like braids, that way, that kind of stuff. I usually wear my hair naturally out. Um, so I didn't know really how it was supposed to be. And I, I'm pretty sure how she did it was how it was supposed to be. Just for me, my scalp did not react well to it. I was hot fire, you guys. I tried the spray with the apple cider vinegar, all that jazz, like to calm my, no. 
I got that joint done, I think on a Sunday. I took it out on, on a Wednesday. That's how much I can't take stuff on my scalp. It also could have been the hair that I bought. So I don't know if it was just a mixture of the two things, like the product she was using and the synthetic hair that I had um, or what, you guys. But that's just why I don't dibble dabble in sew-ins. If these get irritating, I can pop them out. I can wash them. I can condition them and set them in my satin bag until next time. I don't have to worry about them getting trashed. I mean, I don't know how long the human hair clip-ins last. Um, these these clip-ins are definitely due for uh, a conditioning though, I can tell. But I ain't worried about it. I ain't worried about it, y'all. I ain't worried. Oh, girl, <laughs> calm down, okay? Ooh, so that's all I have for you curls today. I had a fun time putting these clippings in. I always like transforming myself into some kind of fierce hair goddess. So I just love doing clippings. Um, if you like this video, don't forget to actually like it <laughs> um, and subscribe to my channel. And hit the bell notifications like I said because you won't get the notification for my new videos every Thursdays and Sundays. So get your life. Enjoy the curl gang. Okay. I'm not playing. Subscribe right now. Did you subscribe yet? Okay. <laughs> Thank you. I have so many cool things coming up. And I'm trying to keep it mostly a surprise because I don't want to spoil my content. But the next month is going to be lit. That's all I have to say. So you don't want to miss out. Again, turn on your bell notifications. But that's all I have for you today, curls. Keep it fierce. Keep it cute. Keep it curly. Peace and love.